refreshment right after you take a spoonful. Crushed ice is the main ingredient, but it's the mints, jackfruit, and leche fly that makes it extra special. Again, we have a possible winner by the Charlie Sue. Congratulations, the correct answer is Halo Halo. It's a regular thing, they play games and you can win prizes, uh, part of Cebu Pacific, All right, so it's, it's pretty fun actually. Correct answer is chocolate meals. Okay, we have a possible winner. Okay, we finally made it. Mabuhay, welcome to Koran Palawan. I believe it's part of Baswanga. <laughs> Look at these guys, we got Ses, we got Lynn from Ses Style in the house. Lynn, <laughs> we got the action cam. Good weather. Look at everyone on their cameras. All right guys, gonna go grab our luggage. Very nice flight, small plane. It's a bit of a rough landing, but it's fine. Look at this guy. Uh, should be great. Looking forward to it. First time in uh, Quran. I believe this is the baggage area. Traditional uh, wood grain. Those bags aren't about to be moving. I'll no, tell you that. no, no. But someone's gonna do it. Yeah. So, well, anyway, it's nice. New experience. How was the flight for you? You're on. It's good. I almost yeah. dropped my camera. I fell asleep. Really? Yeah, I was holding it. I almost dropped it like uh, two times, but it's good. It's quick. The stewardess is very beautiful. Uh, oh, Victoria. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Heard, I heard this guy flirting with her. You know. Well, they put Phone me in number? the exit. They Phone put me number? in the exit row, and she was sitting right in front of me. So we just were chatting the whole flight. So. Put him in the exit row. He strategically <laughs> bought that ticket. No, they did it for free. He's like, <laughs> it's like if you're gonna pay for anything, pay for the 20 kilograms. Get the extra luggage, you know, uh, pay the premium. Let me tell you, I got raped. I got raped on uh, the way here because... No, you did. You did pay extra, I did. so... I got, I got the 15 kilo kilos. Lynn brought, who knows how much, she brought a bunch of luggage. I don't know what's in there even, but I think she brought a bunch of rocks. She right. felt like it was um, appropriate believe, to bring a bunch of rocks uh, to well, the Well, I thought it was rice. She was smuggling rice, oh, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> she brought a couple of bags of rice. She <laughs> was uh, actually smuggling exotic animals. Oh, my Lord. But the point is, you know, Sometimes it's worth paying the extra bit of little money when when you book the ticket to get the 20 kilograms of uh, chick luggage. Yeah, actually, I actually did have to pay about 50 US dollars extra. So, and it's going to continue every time you take a Cebu Pacific flight. And I, I I got at least four more, so uh, I, I'm getting raped, unfortunately. Yeah. And here we go. But the hotel was really cool. Like, I told them to put B Adventures, but they did Sir Brendan Adventures, which is just as cool. It's very cool. Thank you. Salam, man. So, do you guys want a photo off or? Let's yeah, go. Cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, we're with. Um, well, you see the hotel. I organized it with the hotel. As you can see. Okay, you're in a remote area, guys. So you actually have to organize your own transfer. It is recommended. Typically, tricycles do not come out here at this point in time. Okay, you are in a remote area by nature when you're in Palawan. Okay, so you come out here like a backpacker thinking you're going to get a cheap tricycle. You will not. You'll get stuck. All right, guys. I was just saying we're you know we're just driving along. Uh, it reminds me of Australia, dry, like dry bushland. Australia looks very much like this in a lot of areas. And um, yeah, you got the mountains and everything. It's cool. You know, usually Philippines is full of dense, uh, wet jungle, so it's interesting to see more dry bushland. Still very nice, looking forward to seeing the beach and the, the ocean. Check this out, Royale. This is Fanta, but they call it Royale here. You know, one of those differences. Uh, I finally had a mad shower, freshened up a little bit. These guys are getting settled, so we're just going over our plans, but just wanted to say hey. And you are at uh, Casa Coron. Casa Coron which is also like a budget place, but apparently decent. Yeah? 
Not on, because I'm not staying here, but it's respectable. So, good. yep, it's good. Okay. It actually looks quite swanky, to be honest. It looks quite nice. So. Okay. I'm not reviewing it, guys. Just giving you a quick, quick shot. That's all. Okay. Quick update. Because of our timing, uh, a lot of the tours are simply not available in Quran. So we, we found some awesome ones, I'll show you. But all of them are just not operating at all, regardless of what tour you want. Just to give you guys an idea, future reference. So this, uh, this ultimate one looked good. You can do a bunch of stuff. For 1,500 pesos, very good. Here's the contact numbers. Here's the email. Okay, for future reference. Okay. But just the timing is just not okay, available. Okay guys, here's the update. This is not a review, this is just the update. We found this one, Island Trip Travel and Tours. Here are the contact details, should you wish. Remember, it's a snapshot in time. We managed to find uh, this one, Corona Island Highlights, six, 1,600 pesos per person. Looks pretty good, you get seven hits, or seven sites. And it's pretty much the same as all the other ones. Uh, okay, inclusions, your boat tour, guide, picnic, lunch. They did say they were very nice too. They had good customer service, which I love. They did say bring your own water, bring your own towel, and then obviously anything else like cameras. Cameras are always important. But just little details like that, like you know the bad tours when they don't warn you. So imagine going on a tour and they don't provide water and you're like, what the heck? I should have brought water. Uh, and of course, sunblock. It's always important. Sunblock hats, you know, make sure you don't get sunburned. You're out at sea, you will get sunburned and you will get sunstroke as tough as you are. I'm done for People. it. You're done for it. <laughs> He's this guy doesn't skinny. shut up. Dude. God damn, beat him, beat him. <laughs> anyway, so we've had enough it's just because we're so tired, guys. We've been traveling since uh, we got up. I got up at 4 a.m. I don't know what time you got up. Um, I got up at 4 a.m. to pack. You're crazy, man. Maybe, maybe yeah, five we ish. Did. Yeah, we did. No, because you did too. You yeah, had to pack. You had to rearrange your luggage yeah. and, the, and the weight limit. It, it was 4 a.m. And yeah. they managed. We managed to do everything. Everything worked out. But just things like that, guys. Getting up early to manage our luggage. Anyway. So we're just going to chill out now, we're going to get dinner, just have a nap and chill out. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Unless we are party later tonight. Okay, this is the chicken fajitas. This is our uh, first time I've actually had them. In, in general, so... Look at that, on the hot plate, beautiful, gorgeous. You guys going to go? She's going to finish her beer. Okay, we'll cool. Be Alright, so I'm going to make this up, test it out. Okay guys, I know it looks like a bit of a mess. I'll put everything on this one. It's my last one. The first one was really good. See, I use, I use all the supplies except all the chili. So you got mayonnaise, real egg mayonnaise. By the way, they tend to mix ketchup into the mayonnaise here, so it looks pink. I don't like that. But this is good. Whole egg, creamy mayonnaise, beautiful. With the capsicum, the onion, the chicken, the chili, and the tomato salsa. All right, let's enjoy. By the way, guys, I treated uh, Seth and Lynn. You know, just thought it'd be nice. Um, Man, that, that chicken fajita was only 168 pesos. That was really good. Yeah, and the guys had a couple of drinks, whatever, but yeah, pretty good. We had uh, three meals.